I'd like to welcome everybody to our November event for Adelaide Feast Festival. Here's Bradley Pitt and my name is Darren Curtis. We're here with Andrew Harvey, international author, mystic, showing a new vision of love. I'm a of the age. No, well, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so this event, Radiant Embodiment, a new vision of love. You know, what do you see in this time of change, of chaos, of turmoil, of the new birth? How can we rebirth this new vision of love, not only for the people that are going through this experience, but the other mystical people that also want a new vision too, to bring all this together? Well, thank you for that wonderful question. Look, what's going on is that the world is going through a global dark night and so many people are paralyzed by despair and horror and there are terrible things happening. Mm. But as a mystic, I know that the dark night is good news because the dark night is a birth canal for a new embodied divine humanity. And what that means, and this is what I will be sharing with you through poetry and through some teaching and through some practices and song that you'll be participating in, what I'll be sharing with you is the vision that all the great evolutionary mystics of humanity have had of a new kind of human being that's no longer split from the mind and the heart, no longer split from the body and the soul, but one unified, glorious, happy, joyful, passionate, creative, radical person. Mm. And I think this vision of a new kind of love, a love that is blazing in the mind, blazing in the heart, blazing in the cells of the body, blazing in the genitals, blazing in bones, one love taking over the whole person, this vision is especially important for the gay community who have been such pioneers, mm -hmm. but now need, I believe, to go to this next level. And it doesn't mean denying sexuality. What it means is infusing your whole being with divine love so that love can birth your whole being into another level of power, beauty, grace, and joy. Mm -hmm. The most important thing to understand about this time is that it is an evolutionary shift. Mm. And we're being asked to respond to the chaos by real action, but also to respond to it by living with a joy and a purpose and a meaning and a passion that we've never found before. Mm. So instead of moaning and falling on the floor and being paralyzed, let's take all of this massive difficulty that's coming towards us and say to it, we know why you're here. You want us to make you want to make us more authentic, more real, more passionate, more engaged with each other, more engaged with sacred action, and above all, more in love with life. Life. Beautifully said. <laughs> radiant embodiment, my friends, and we will have a feast of empowering joy. And I will share with you the practices and the knowledge and distill it for you so that you can run with it and understand the meaning of the great phrase, living joyfully is the best revenge. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>